I want, I want to do now what I call the tearless trauma technique with you, okay? But I need to describe this in, in detail for you. I need to give you instructions for detail because we're going to be dealing with trauma, okay? And some people in this room may have some significant, if not severe, trauma, okay? And mind you, I'm one person up here who's not a therapist and have no conventional training like that. It's conceivable, even though we're doing this process to minimize any such uh, severe reaction. If you do have it, uh, Meryl, Meryl, Robin, would you raise your hand too? These are two excellent practitioners. I may ask you to go outside you know, with them for whatever needs to be done, because I will not have a chance to do that. Rare that that happens, however, but if it does happen for you, it happens, okay? And we want to know that, all right? Now, the purpose of the tearless trauma technique is for me to guide you through taking care of your own trauma, okay? Um, in a way that minimizes any pain, okay? Oftentimes, I'll do this in major percentages of the room will have relief on that trauma, even though I don't have a clue what the trauma is. Nobody knows what it is but you, okay? Uh, and we do it, as you will see, in such a manner that really doesn't get you involved in it emotionally. You really don't have to sit there and go dwell on it and bring it back up and, and uh, trip through it vividly in your imagination or anything like that, okay? However, you need to follow these instructions very carefully, and I want to hear questions and everything else to make sure that I have communicated this, these instructions very well. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate a specific event, okay? Now, an event is not, my father always abused me. That is not an event, okay? The time my father locked me in the closet when I was 12 is a specific event. I need to get that across. Why? Because if you're dealing on the larger issue, my father always abused me, and we start doing this, what's going to happen with your system is we start doing some tapping, you may be getting some relief on something that is tangentially in your thought field, if you will, your thought area, and then you're going to shift to something else, then to something else, then to something else, okay? We want to zero in on one specific negative tree in the forest, okay? One specific trauma, okay? Now, the next thing about this is I want this trauma to be at least five years ago for this purpose. That doesn't mean you cannot deal with more recent ones, but I want to tell you why I say that. Um, if somebody is having current trauma, let me, for example, give you, give you the example of the battered wife. She's having trauma every day. She takes care of the kids, husband comes home, gets too many beers, then he starts swinging his fists, okay? She has trauma every day. And if she's in here trying to deal with her specific trauma, I mean, it's right in her face every day, um, and it's not something encapsulated in the past. That is the kind of thing we probably need to have one-on-one -on -one with, you know, rather than something in a group like this. But if it's in the past something, which is what we want to deal with, at least five years ago, a specific event, then this will, then this will be, be uh, appropriate for this, for this example. So if you will, I, I don't want you to vividly imagine anything. By now, you have probably, in your mind, tripped across such event. Do not go through your mind and bring it up. Just write, write down a word about it, like father thing, or whatever, whatever it, that means to you, okay? A brother beating, or I don't know what it is, ac accident at 12, or whatever the case may be. Just write down a phrase for it, but do not involve yourself in it emotionally at this point, okay? Just write it down. Now, my question to you for this audience is, how many of you found such a thing? Can I just see your hands? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? How many just couldn't find something? That's okay, too. Okay, couldn't find anything here, couldn't find anything there, couldn't find anything there. Okay, if, go ahead, well, we need, we need a microphone. Okay. It's not that I can't find anything. It feels like I've done EFT on all of them already. Oh, okay, I mean, all right. I mean, that, that movie kind of idea. Yeah. So you're, we're trying to find something that there's still a... Yeah, and if it's not there, it's not there. That's okay. okay, that's okay. Pick on something else if you want to. Pick on a physical thing, whatever, when we're doing this. But uh, I have about three people that don't have such, such an issue, okay? Um, now, what I would like to have you do, and listen to this very carefully, okay? Without, you know, closing your eyes and getting all emotionally involved in it and traipsing through it and rerunning this movie in your mind or whatever this event would be. Without doing that, I want you to guess. 
I want you to guess that if you did that, if you vividly imagine it, what do you think your current emotional intensity would be now if you really went through that? What number would it be? And I want you to guess. You don't have to be accurate. Just guess. I think it would be an 8. I think it would be a 3. I think it would be a 10. What do you guess it to be? That's important. What do you guess it to be? Okay. What did you write down? A nine. A 9. Okay. I'm still thinking. All right. 8. 8. 10. ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Eight. Eight. Six. Six. Eight. 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 Ten. Ten. Six. Six. Okay. All right. Somewhat representative, I find, um, when I do this, there's a number of eights and tens that you think it would be if you were to vividly imagine it. But now, see, I don't want you to vividly imagine it. You, just, you have just recognized it. That's all you've done. Okay? Uh, did I ask you to write down a little phrase for it? Did I ask you to do that? We'll do that. A little phrase for it, please. Whatever it may be, because you're going to do EFT, we need this little phrase. For whatever it would be, okay? But again, I don't want you to trip through it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do EFT on this thing. Uh, and you're going to need to use your little phrase, of course. And by the way, if, if the phrase and the particular issue is nobody else's business, just hum it when we go through it, even though I'm hmm, 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 okay? Uh, that's fine. Otherwise, you know, belt it out. Let's hear it. Let's get into it. We're going to need to. Do, we're going to need to do that, especially for this, and we want to get by the setup for sure. And I have a whole room full of people here. Any questions whatsoever on the details of how to on the instructions on how to do this? Was I okay? I'm sorry. We have a question back here. Yeah, sure. It's like when I think of my thing, I, I think that there's different aspects to it. So you just focus on the event itself versus different feelings. That the event have. itself. The that's event right. Itself. Now, now. See, I don't really know what your issue is, and I have to leave that up to you, but it may be your fear about this issue or your guilt because of whatever it is that you may, you, you may want to zero in on something as specific as that. I'll have to leave that one to you. Usually when we get right down to an event, just the event itself, we're, we're successful with this. But if you want to be even more specific, please do. Okay, okay other questions? Yeah, go ahead over here. When you said to write the phrase, is that, I think you were just referring to, is that just describing what it is that we're putting yeah, attention Yeah, remember, you're going to say, even though I have this, okay. and that blank is Whatever the phrase you're going to be using. Okay. okay, thank you. All right, other questions? Okay. All right. We're going to go through this, okay, with me. Even though I have this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this, I forgive myself for having it. I forgive myself for carrying it around. And I forgive, I, assume, I am open to the possibility that I can forgive anyone else who I perceive may have contributed to this. It may well have been they were doing the best they could. Even though I have this blank, go ahead. Even though I have it, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, say this, and then fill the blank in. This, 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 this. Okay, if, I'm going to stop right there a second. If you will, and without tuning into it, by the way. I do not want you to vividly imagine. I want you to guess at this point that if you were to tune into it, what do you think your number would be? And remember, you're guessing. That's okay. Whatever your guess is, your guess is. But write that number down, please. And let me go back over here. What, did you write a nine down again? Yeah. Okay. Eight to, five. Eight to five. Eight to six. Eight to six. Ten to nine. Ten to nine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eight to seven. Eight to seven. Uh, six to four. Six to four. Eight Eight to seven? Eight to five. Eight to five? Ten to eight. Ten to eight? Six to a one or zero. Six to a one or zero. Okay, that, it's a guess of yours. Okay, we don't really know until you actually do vividly imagine this and so on, okay? Um, but that's interesting. Okay, all right. Now we're going to do another round, okay? With feeling, folks. Even though I still have some of this, I deeply and comp No, no. <laughs> Even though I still have some of this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still have some of this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. 
Remaining this, remaining whatever, okay? Remaining. 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 Okay, do the nine gamut. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Hard down right. Hard down left. Roll them in a circle. Other way. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, remaining. Remaining, 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 remaining. What, what were your numbers? Nine to six. Okay, uh, uh, now, uh, I'm sorry, th I, I forgot to do something. Without vividly imagine it, guess again at what you think it would be. Just guess again at what you think it would be, okay? And write the number down. All right, nine to six. Nine to six to two, that's your guess, okay? Eight to six to two. Eight to six to two. Eight, five, three. Eight, five, three. Two to zero. Two to zero. Eight, six, four. Eight, six, four. Four, two, one. Four, two, one. Ten, ten plus six. Ten, ten plus six, okay. Ten, six. All the same issue, all the same event? Yes. Okay. Ten, six, three. Ten, six, three. Eight, five, two. Eight, five, two. Eight, six, seven. Eight, six, seven. Eight, six, five. Eight, six, five. Ten, ten, six. 10, 10, 6, okay. 873. 873. 10, 2, 0. 10, 2, 0. 6, 3. Wait, hold on one second. 10, 2, 0. I went from 10 to 2 to 0. 10 to 2 to 0, okay. Uh, without doing it, what I want to ask you is, if I were, and I'm going to do this a little bit, okay, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and vividly imagine this thing. Your guess is you'll come out with it with, who cares? Right. Okay. We don't know, we don't know until you do it. Okay. Right. All right, go ahead, Myron. Nine to six to three. Nine to six to three. Four to three to zero, or perhaps a little more than zero. Okay, nine to, I'm sorry again. Four, Four to three to very little. Very good. Okay, Bonnie. Five, three, one. Five, three, one. Ten, eight, six. Ten, eight, six. Ten, seven, seven. Ten, seven, seven, okay. Seven, six, four. Seven, six, four. Nine, seven, seven. Nine, seven, seven. Nine, eight, six. Nine, eight, six, okay. Five, two, zero, but then it's starting to go back up another. 920 started to go up, but you said another aspect. So, so actually what you did was you tuned into some other piece. Well, is it like, you say it's another aspect, is it another aspect of that particular event or is it another event? It's another aspect of that particular event. It's another aspect of that event. Uh, we don't need to disclose it necessarily unless you want to, but what I want to ask you is when you say aspect, are you speaking of another emotion like it was fear and now it's anger? Or just some other piece of the event that some comes up? Some other piece of some the event. Some other piece comes up. Oh, okay. All right, so the, this event had lots of pieces, and mm -hmm. we probably could take this event and divide it into more pieces. Yeah. Okay, all right, go ahead. 10 4 one. 10 one okay. So chances are you had a biggie. It's, it's what it seems like in your guess. You had a biggie, which seems to be gone. Uh, you're guessing. Okay, go ahead. Five, four and a half, and three. Five, four and a half, three. Uh, eight, seven, five. Eight, seven, five. Four, two, one. Four, two, one. Nine, ten, nine. Nine, ten, nine, so you're still up there. Okay, this is a specific event. Okay. Are, are you aware of, at all of, of shifting uh, to different aspects of it? Like different people doing different things? You are. I'm aware of one piece dropping. Oh, okay. One, like, here's this mess, and here's a piece minus on the second time okay. around. My, I don't want to put words in your mouth, I wanna, but I want to I make sure we understand that well. So this, I, my guess is the very first piece that dropped would be one that you were... Uh, thinking about primarily in your head. Uh huh. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Yeah, it's like round? a two-piece thing. Uh huh. And this one piece that I thought was there the second time around was gone. Oh, okay. The intensity stayed high, but this piece was not there. Okay, so so you now, now you're, you're actually, in my experience, zeroing in on another piece of it. Okay. Okay. Well, I. I yes. That's what it seems like to me. But I don't want to put words in your mouth because you're the one that's... I think it's zeroing. I think it's letting go of something that I thought was an important part of it that might not really be an important part of it. Okay, so. and, and that's why... Is that a cognitive shift, mm -hmm. by the way? Okay, so the next time we do a round, we're going to do another round of this, okay, you want to zero in on that second part. In fact, you may even want to change your, your, your phraseology okay. to, to reflect the second piece. Go ahead. Uh, nine and a half, nine and a half, nine. Nine and a half, nine and a half, nine. You've got one that's up there. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, good. Five three one. Eight ten three. Eight ten three. Four okay. two zero. Four two zero. Eight six three. Eight six three. Nine 
975. 975? 1010. 1010. Go ahead. 942. 942. Okay. Now, I, I'm sorry, we, we have a question back here. Can we have a microphone? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I was eight. Now I got a headache. Okay. <laughs> um, who can suggest why she was eight and now has a headache? Oh, come on, folks. Another issue, another aspect, probably. You weren't here earlier today, were you? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Um, chances are what happened was we, we take care of one issue, and then something else shows up in the form of a headache. Okay. <laughs> But you weren't here earlier, so we didn't talk about that, but, but, but that's okay. Uh, you, the next time around, you may want to just tap for the headache. Okay. Okay? Good. We're going to do it again, folks. Okay? Here we go. Even though I still have some of this, hmm, I deeply. You guys go to some other seminar. <laughs> I deeply and completely accept myself. <laughs> Even though I still have some of this. I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, remaining, both hands, remaining, under your eye, remaining, 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 remaining. that was all there was to it, okay. Even though I, another one, even though I still have some of this left, and I'm sick and tired of it. It's been hanging around too damn long. I don't need it. I forgive it. I deeply and completely accept myself and it. It's an inside job. It's a piece of cloud. It's a little fluff. Just seems to have a big hold on me. Time to let go. Okay. Remaining. 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 Now, what I'd like you to do is, is guess again what your emotional intensity would be if you were to vividly imagine it. Just write again your guess, okay? And what I would like to know now is how many of you are still at a high number? I need to know that. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm going to leave this up to you, okay? Um, uh, and I want you to take care of yourselves because I really don't know what's going on. You can either go outside and Merrill and Robin you know, would be happy to help you at this point because uh, maybe more, more you need to do. Uh, if you want to test it, you can vividly imagine like everybody else is going to do, okay? Um, and see what happens. You may be wrong in your assessment. We don't know that. If you do happen to choose the latter and you do happen to want to really get into it uh, and you start to get intense right away, just stop. Just stop. There's no reason to keep going here, okay? Uh, just stop. Uh, but Robin and, and uh, Meryl, would you guys stand up for a second? Just, just so you see them back there? So anybody want to go visit with them or what do you want to do? I'm going to leave it to you. Okay. Okay. What I'd like to have you do now, by the way, by the way I, let me also ask before we do this, how many of you wrote down zero? Okay, keep your hands up high. So that's roughly half of you, maybe, something like you wrote down zero. How many wrote down a one or a two? A zero, one, or a two. A zero, one, or two, so I can see. Okay, all right. That's a large percentage of you, okay? Now, we don't, see, we don't know how accurate that is yet because we really haven't vividly imagined it, have we? Okay? So what I'd like you to do is to go now and vividly imagine it. Close your eyes and go through it. The moment you get intense, by the way, just stop. But vividly go through it. Vividly imagine it. And if you're finding, having a hard time finding it, uh, then try to vividly imagine it in glowing color. Make the sounds you know, louder and the vision's brighter and the feeling's more intense and so on and try to get yourself upset. Go ahead. Okay, when you're done, write your number down. How many of you found that your guess, your final guess as to what you're 
would be, was within a point or two or reasonably accurate to what you actually ended up with. I'm curious. Just, and just look around. See, that's most of the people. That's most of the people. Your guess was reasonably accurate. Okay. How many found your guess, your, your actual experience was better than your guess? Okay, we have a few. We have a few like that. Okay. It was actually better than your guess. Okay. Um, how many of you, as you were going through it, and this is going to be the $64,000 question because I probably should have primed you ahead of, ahead of time on this. How many of you noticed that you, were, you shifted to some other aspect or to some other event or something like that? Okay, can I see him? Well, that's a number of you. That's a number of you. Um, and that is indicative, by the way, of us having good relief on the original event. That's, that's very important to recognize because your clients will do that. You, chances are you got good relief on the original event and because it was no longer a big deal, so you shifted off to something else. It was less of a big deal, so you shifted to something else. I'm sorry, go ahead. What I, no oh, goodness, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What I noticed is that um, I was even fearful to even look at it. Um, the incident that I'm looking at is a seizure. I had an epileptic seizure. Mm -hmm. And so what I noticed is that I was even afraid to even look at it because of the trauma that occurred. Sure. Because that, that seizure led to them finding a tumor, a brain tumor, which they removed. So it was like, like getting into the, to even try to get into that, I was fearful of getting into that. So you never did get into it? Is that what you're telling me? Or right, because, yeah, no, I didn't get into it. I mean, it was like, well, if I really let myself go into it, okay. would I have another yeah. seizure? Okay. You know, that's kind of like how it was. Okay, and that's one of the disadvantages of working in big groups like this. If we were one-on-one, -on -one, and let me just suggest how I might approach it if, that, if you brought this problem to me in that case, I would say, even though I have a difficult time looking at it, okay, and you'll tiptoe into it from there, even though I have all these problems looking at it, even though looking at it seems to be a big problem for me, and so, but I would... I would, I would make a lot of issues into, into looking at it. I'd make a lot of exploration in that, because we need to get that out of the way first. Okay, sure. Uh, go ahead, we have a question there or a comment here. This is a, just a question in general. When a, a situation, like what I chose, is something that has come up in my mind before, I felt it was still unresolved, so I looked at it again. And I guess my question is, is when situations come up in our lives where we just go back to it and we like relive it or a piece of it just shows up you'll be driving your car and all of a sudden yeah is that just unresolved issues or is it just something we can just do something with like we are today <laughs> well it's a tappable issue that's the point mm -hmm. see a lot this is my my understanding of all, a lot of, of how we react today we find this more out in like presentation called a palace of possibilities okay but a lot of what we react to today is is stuff that was written on our walls in our palace of possibilities once upon a time and we are constantly reacting to the past and so if you have this I'm gonna call it a little flashback just for lack of a better term okay this little thing shows up if it's bothersome it's a tappable issue and chances are it's it's very tappable just zero it down and start tapping on it and and the chances are also if you're successful you're not going to have that show up again and not only would it not show up again like when you're driving or something, but its influence on your everyday life and how you respond to things when you're not even aware it's there will also be gone. You'll respond more freely in other areas of your life. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's my take on it anyway. D during the break, I, I visited with Rachel, and I, uh, would you mind giving, I need to give Rachel the uh, microphone. Okay. Um, one, of the thing, one of the things that, well, first of all, just to, re to remind folks, uh, you had an issue, and it was like a nine or something like that, and then, right. and then it, you said it fell away after a round or two, and then there was something else left. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do is just so everybody can recognize this, get behind that a little bit. So yeah. what was the issue and what fell away? The event was my stepmother, when I was 12, telling me that I needed to go to a dermatologist in front of my father. Okay. And so that says to you, like, I'm, you're a that young says, child, I'm ugly. You're so else. ugly that you need to go to a doctor with a big name. Yes. Dermatologist sounded Dermatolo big to me. Yes. To be fixed. To be fixed. Because you're, you're so ugly. And, and, you're and other people agree with me. Okay. So now, the event is your mother saying that. Stepmother, yes. Or stepmother, I'm sorry. So the event is your stepmother saying that. Yes. Okay. And then that's what fell away when we were talking to you. That's what fell right. away, you said, and something else. And what was the thing that was left? 
What was left was my skin, my face. Okay, yeah, and, and your, your dissatisfaction right. with that. Okay, now, w thank you very much, Rachel. What I'd like to point out here is the actual event that we ask her to focus on. I, I'm, I'm bringing this out because of the semantics that are important in all of it. The actual event that we ask her to focus on, that is her mother saying this to her, fell away. In fact, you told me, I think, when we were talking, that you had some different view of your mother. A cognitive shift, what was that? Maybe that, that it wasn't about her. Yeah, that is, that is what you said, as I recall, when we were over yeah. there. Okay, whatever, you had a cognitive shift about that. Anyway, that, that event, and then we went over to this thing about your dissatisfaction with your face, which is a very global issue. No longer are we on a specific event. And yet she was reporting, you know, that she still had these high numbers, and it was not a specific event. That's not a criticism, it's an observation. And so you need to know when you deal with clients, et cetera, that they're, they're really communicating to you what these issues are. Remember, we're, we're in, a, we're in a, a, a big forum here. And there's only one of me, and there's a zillion of you, okay? So I just want to point that out. Chances are a number of people here who did not report resolution were probably, probably, in, in Rachel's uh, situation in that you shifted to some kind of event that was not, you know, actually part of this, even though it seemed like it at the time.